A lot of the focus over the last two weeks has been on the presidential race, but we still have some undecided races here in western New York. That's right, and that is because mail-in ballot counting just began in Erie County today, and they could make a big difference in close races like this one in the assembly between incumbent Democrat Monica Wallace and Republican challenger Frank Smirzak. Two on your side's Dave McKinley has been keeping an eye on it for us today, and he's live right now with more for us. Hi, Dave. Fears over COVID-19 prompted a record number of mail-in ballots, 84,000 just this year in Erie County. And in that race, you mentioned in particular there were 12,000. Now, after Election Day, Republican challenger Smearzak led by 2,300 votes. But as has been demonstrated that most of the mail-in ballots in most every election have been breaking for the Democrats, that would bode well for the incumbent Monica Wallace. It's been two weeks since election day, but the vote tabulating machines were humming again today at the Erie County Board of Elections. In this instance, we watched as a stack of 121 mailed in ballots were counted in about 30 seconds. But even at that pace, elections officials say it will take several days to get through the record number of roughly 84,000 ballots cast by mail this year. Prior to being fed through in a larger room where the ballots had previously been sorted by election district, elections workers unseal them in teams of two. One of them will open the ballot, and while they can see the name of the voter who sent it, note how they open it away from them to avoid being able to see who they voted for. Their partner on the opposite side of the table looks briefly at the face of the ballot in order to then stack it properly to go through the machine. And even if they should be able to notice who someone voted for, remember, they don't know the name of that voter. It's all in an effort to preserve the sanctity and the secrecy of the vote. The board did decide today to first concentrate on races such as the one in the 143rd Assembly District between Monica Wallace and Frank Smearzak in order to try and get that one resolved. And we are getting word that they may have a tally of the absentee ballots and therefore be able to project with some certainty the outcome finally of that race and they may be able to do it by the time you join us next hour so stay tuned at the board of elections dave mckinley channel 2 news